Following the killing of two French citizens in Marseille by a Tunisian assailant, politicians and civil society activists in Tunisia have denounced the terror attack. It's sad that two innocent people were stabbed to death. The terror attack in Marseille proves once again that ISIL sleeper cells are everywhere. They do not need to travel to conflict zones to be brainwashed. Young people turn into terrorism just by watching ISIL propaganda videos in their rooms. The MP Leila Shatewi is the former president of the Parliamentary Investigation Committee into youth sending networks to conflict zones. She warns that the worst is yet to come. Thousands of young men and women have joined ISIL in Syria and Iraq. Terrorists from over 80 countries have taken up arms and joined ISIL ranks over the past five years. Now that they're losing the war in Syria and Iraq, terrorists are either returning home or entering Europe illegally. Some Tunisian journalists have criticized the media coverage of terror attacks by some Western outlets. They denounce the stigmatization of Muslims as could-be terrorists. The terrorists who kill people are responsible for their crimes and not the millions of people in our region. When a mass killing happens, a non-Muslim killer is automatically described as mentally disturbed, while a Muslim or North African has always to prove that he is not a terrorist. Killing people is terrorism. This scourge must be denounced and eradicated. In 2013, two politicians were assassinated on Tunisian soil by ISIL terrorists who were trained in Syria. Hundreds of officers and soldiers have also died in the government's proclaimed war on terror. The authorities in Tunis have always cooperated with foreign security services to identify and to neutralize any terror threat or cells. Adam Shawishi, CGTN, Tunis.